Welcome to Math TVB. Hello friends, as we recall, there is a need of science in calculating or solving mathematics questions on different levels. I am here for the same. Today in this video, I am going to start chapter integers for class 7. There has been a huge demand of solving the chapters of class Seven also. So from this video, I am starting with the class seven integers exercise one point one. So if you guys want to see the solution of class eight, Boyle well Brothers book chapter, you can go by the playlist where all the links are available. So not to waste further time, let's check it out how to solve question number one to question number four of chapter integers, exercise 1.1, class 10. So here question number first says, find the value of absolute value 17 minus 25. So here, what we will do? First of all, we will just solve it as normal. And absolute value will remain intact. So 17 minus 25 will be coming out as minus 8. But as we all know, if some integer is coming out from the absolute value, and if it isn't negative, it will become positive. So after coming out from the absolute value, minus 8 will become positive 8. And that would be our Hope the question is clear. If any type of doubt is there, always feel free to ask by commenting into the comment box. So, it is our answer. Let's come to the next part. So, here the negative sign is out of absolute value. And 18 minus 5. So here, how we will do it? The negative sign out of the absolute value sign will remain intact. 18 minus 5, of course, is coming out to be 13. So after coming out from the absolute value, as the 13 is already in positive, no changes will be here. But after coming out from the absolute value, here is a negative sign. So negative sign will remain with the 13. So minus 13 would be our sign. Hope the question is clear. If any type of doubt is there, feel free to ask by commenting in the comment box. Minus 13 value. Now come to the next part, which is the third part. So third part is given as absolute value 4 minus absolute value minus 18. So step by step we will solve it. So 4, if the 4 is coming out from the absolute value, it will remain 4 minus. And if minus 18 is coming out to be, it will become positive 18. So our answer will become what? Minus this is up. So, hope the question is clear. So, minus fourteen is up. Now, come to the fourth part. So let's move to the fourth part. So fourth part is absolute value minus 15 plus absolute value 32. 
minus absolute value minus 10. So in our next step, what will we will uh, write? We will write 15 plus 32 and minus 10. That will be equal to 15 plus 22. That would be equal to 57. So our answer is 57. Hope the question is clear. So Now come to the fifth part. So fifth part says 5 plus absolute value minus 5 minus absolute value minus 5. So let's check it out how to solve it. First of all, we will write 5. And if minus 5 is coming out from the absolute value, it will become positive. In the similar way, if minus 4 is coming out from the absolute value, it will become positive 4. But out of the absolute value, there is a negative sign. So negative sign will remain intact. So it will become minus 2. In our next step, plus 5, we will write as it is. And plus 5 and minus 4 will become 1. So 5 plus 1, 6 would be our answer of fifth form. Hope the question is clear. Now come to the sixth. So, sixth part says absolute value minus 18 plus absolute value 55 minus absolute value minus 15. So, in our next step, we will write. So, minus 18 will be coming out to be as positive 18. And 55 will become 55 itself. Minus sign will remain intact. And minus 15 absolute value will become positive 15. So we will write 15 only. In our next step, 18 plus 55 and minus 15 will become 40. In our next step, our 58 would be our answer. Hope all the questions from question number 1 to from first part to sixth part of question number 1 is quite clear. If any type of doubt is there, always feel free to ask questions by commenting into the comment box. So in my next video, I will be solving question number 2 and Maybe some more question of exercise 1.1, chapter 1, integer, class 7. So let's scroll to the previous question to have a full glance. So here, here are the previous question. Have a full glance of question number 1 from first part to fourth part. And in our next slide, let's see fifth and sixth part. So if you guys like my videos or if it is somewhere helpful to you, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and share the videos as much as possible. Thank you so much.